don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So the boys are off for their afternoon walk. <laughs> Trying to G them both up. <laughs> They've got the coats on because it's been April showers today. We've had showers this morning, but it, the sun came out and then we had showers again. And then the sun came out and then we had showers again. But it seems to have dried up a bit now. Look at him. Trying to jeer them up. <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully it'll um, it'll stay dry while he's out with the boys. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm just out with the boys this morning. Bentley's there, and Nipper is there, and the, the gardeners have planted some trees. And they've started to flower. Only a little, only a little tree. But look how pretty that is. A little bit of cherry blossom. I don't need cherry blossom. Some need blossom anyway. Delicate. So, the sun's gone and it's just typical when I want to do some gardening or do some digging. Um, we've decided to convert one of the flower beds in the garden from being covered in uh, purple rock chippings, st uh, slate chippings, to an actual bed because we've got far too many plants and they're all getting crowded. So I've got the compost, I'll show you what I'm going to do and I'll show you the start and hopefully we'll finish it today. Okay, so I've purchased some topsoil. I've got eight bags, eight times 30 litres, do the math. There's a lot there. Oh, excuse me. Um, Carried it all back in the car. The car was trailing its bottom on the floor nearly. But I think there's probably enough when we start digging this over. So if you remember before, it was all covered in gravel. I've just started taking a little bit out at the edges yesterday when the sun was out and I was doing, doing the gardening. But we've got to relocate the sink and the pot from Dad's tree that he gave me and those pots and the, the akubas as well. So. But I dig this lot out, and all this lot is going from there, walk this way, into here. Then eventually, from here, down there. So, not too bad. But beginning of the season, so we've got plenty of time. So, I shall get the bucket out and the trowel and have a bit of a dig. Well, we've got Abner, and I'm damn sure I'm not his wife. <laughs> um, we've managed to clear all the gravel, well, not gravel. Slate chippings. Oh, slate, I'm out of breath, sorry. Slate chippings out of that bed. Looks a lot bigger now. And we've moved it all, as I'd said earlier, over here. And it looks, looks god dang lovely over here. We've got our gargoyle. What's the gargoyle called? Pubert. Pubert. The chimney pot's going to have flowers in it this year. And it just looks really... A bit tidier. Tidy, a lot tidier. Oh, chives. We had chives in our salad the other day. Yes, first harvest. First harvest of chives for 2023. So, yeah. It's all looking a bit good. So, now it's the digging. Oh, hang on, there's a Jedi here. Are you a Jedi or more of, a, more of a, what are you called? Majorette. Ma more of a, I'd say Majorette, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> than a Jedi. Well, no topsoil. And we've got all the topsoil in. The children are playing football next door. Deep joy. We need another four or five bags, maybe six bags, to get it all nice and, and tidy. And then we can start planting in there, which is a bit I'm looking forward to. And buying plants, which is even better. So, yeah, so that side's all done and tidy. We've raked all that and we've put the stuff back. And look at this. We have some alliums. We have three, in fact. I think there's one under there. One, two, three, yeah. Three alliums. And the lilies are coming back too. And Bentley, he's wanted to come out and go in and come out and go in. Oh, gets me dizzy. David says it's time for tea. Oh. Uh, 
No sign of the dogs then. Nippy's sat in the sunshine. Is he now? Let's have a quick look. <laughs> it ickle baby. I'm going to make some tea. Ooh, what are you doing? I've just finished printing out all the bits from the new download. Oh, is that what you were doing upstairs? Quite a lot of people, yeah. Quite a lot of people have said to me, what, will you do a digi download of the Book Lovers Journal? All right, the is it... panels and the uh, ephemera, etc. that goes in it. Oh, right, okay, that was the book that you shared... Last week. Last week. I made it? a Manda one and then there's another one on the website. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so I've just... I'll just run through it if you want, quickly. So... Oh, I see. Right, this is the one with the uh, the book quotation. Yes. So there's two. There's two downloads. Sorry, Let me just make sure that I'm focused. Good. Okay. I'm a bit fuzzy. Okay. There we go. Two downloads here. This one is all the pockets and the cards. So this is the ephemera set. Yeah. So, and then you get the little cards with all the quotes on. Lovely. And I've been clever because they fit both US paper sizes and UK. Well, that's handy. Because in the UK, we, we're two ten by 297. Yeah. But the American is a little bit shorter and wider. 279. So I've just put it in the top left-hand corner so it'll fit. Yeah, so it fits both ways. Yeah, so... Both imperial and yeah. Euro, Euro metric. Yeah. It's A4. All, it'll put straight pockets. Obviously, it fits A4 because... Yeah, yeah, this is A4, A4 yeah. yeah. Slanty pockets. I love those book location things. Oh, I know they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. So corner pockets. Yeah. I mean, there's loads. Of, I like these. Oh, the library cards. I remember library those. It's quite a bit seven. dark at that side, isn't Sorry. it? Sorry. Hang on, let me just come around this side. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lovely. Yeah, we do like those. I love the colours. I do as well. So, one of those. And there's more book locators. Then there's the books themselves. Oh, they're the little book yeah. journaling cards. Some blank ones. Blank panels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tall panels. Lovely. Or tall cards rather than panels. These are cards. Brilliant stuff. Book locators. Writing strips. Yeah. Yeah. Some like you can put photos on or you can, you know, journal on the front. Yeah. And there's the mini books themselves. That's what we got. Around the world in 80 days. days. Jules Verne, obviously. Yes. H.G. Wells. Lovely. Wuthering Heights and Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Plus, there's the overall back. So you print the oh, yeah. vintage so graph paper on the back. So take it out, turn it around, put it back in, and you've got both sides. Excellent stuff. So that's one. That's the ephemera. Mm -hmm. also, so that's, that's ready now, yeah? That's already now, yeah. It's on your website. And what are these then? Right, it will be on your website when you put it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> in your downloads <laughs> these are the way i did this journal was it wasn't based on doing just printing paper spreads out right it was based on getting card or brown paper folding it and sticking panels on right okay. so the, a, right so these are page panels yeah. right so these are all the page panels you get so i mean there's loads. so again once these are cut out you can just stick these onto whatever size paper you you're can, using us or, or or um european and you can stick them onto old music sheets old oh, newspaper yeah. sheets old yeah to make you know junk journal you can make very large journaling cards if you wanted mm. very nice they're all different i like the fact some of them are plain papered yeah but I yeah. suppose if you print them onto coloured paper as well, you yeah. get that extra dimension. Well, I printed them onto parchment. Yeah. I mean, you can do this and then you can tea dye them, I suppose. Yeah, that's good. Make them even more vintage if you want to. So you've got all those. Mm-hmm. There's loads. These are slightly different. Murder mystery, romantic fiction. Oh, right. So like different genres. Yeah, different genres. Classical and yeah. historical. So they're all the panels. So yeah, so just being a bit busy trying to print it all out. I've not made sure all it works and it does. Cool. So are these going on? They'd be on your in your download section. Right, so that means I've got to do them this afternoon then. Yes. Oh, I'll get them on before the vlog goes live yes. at least. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've done the web app for it. I did this morning while talking to friend Karen. So, so yeah, all sorted. Excellent. Right, kettle on then. I think so. Oh, cutie. So we've had a bit of a tidy up in the garden. Look, 
tulips are out. Absolutely beautiful these ones. I love the colour. So we've cleaned out the rest of all the weeds ready for planting. So there's a few bits that are coming up. They're the new daffodils that I planted this year. But they're the old ones. And again you can see some tulips over that side. So we've had a bit of a tidy up out here at the front. I just can't get over the colour of these. They are just beautiful. But also, we've had a bit of a tidy up around the back. You already know that we've cleaned that bed out because Ian told you. Footprints of animal in the night, probably a cat, something like that. But we've moved the sink over to this side so that we can see it from the house. So it's in a much better position now. So, and the muscari are just starting to kind of go over now but all the, uh, the sedum and everything has spread beautifully on that so it's looking if you pardon the, the wind it's looking quite nice out actually this solar panel for the water feature so but look at these this is all new growth all new growth so that's going to be coming out there's another one over there as well which I'm going to take out the pot for the wall, get rid of all this dead stuff, um, move these. These are heucheras or heucheras, depending on your pronunciation. And then, of course, the clematis is all starting to come into flower as well. So hopefully in a week or so, beautiful big buds up there and there. That'll be a riot of pink colour as well. So it's all coming alive for sure. It's Monday the 10th. It's Easter Monday and it's mine and Ian's official 24th anniversary today. Um, yeah, 24 years. Crikey. <laughs> I'm sure you get less for murder. Anyway, um, so we did exchange of cards this morning, as you do on your anniversary. Um, Ian's cooking um, a meal for us this evening. He's bought the stuff, he's cooking, special thing for him. Um, but he's bought me as a little anniversary present. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it in the light. Let me just turn the camera around. He's bought me this beautiful, original um, Art Deco Corpus Christi. Um, made in the 1930s. It's absolutely beautiful. It's bronze and brass, so enamelled bronze and brass. Um, from Belgium and it's absolutely stunning and it's about 12 inches top to bottom so it's a biggie <laughs> it's a biggie um, and it's absolutely stunning so it combines my love of Corpus Christi's um, and also my love of Deco but look at the lines just look at that it's absolutely gorgeous so if you're wanting to know what I've bought Ian, well, I haven't bought him anything. <laughs> I've given him cash. Um, he's wanting to buy a new pillar drill for his workshop. So I've given him, I'd say probably about 90% of the cash towards a new one. Um, this is the third time I've given him cash to buy one. And he's usually spent the money on something else. So I've insisted this time that he actually spends the money on the pillar drill. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that in the next couple of days. Um, it's officially... Bank holiday, Easter Monday here um, as well. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so yesterday, Easter Sunday, is like Christmas here in the UK where everything, everything is shut apart from a few petrol stations um, and emergency services. It's like Christmas Day where everything's closed. Um, but today the shops are back open again. So I'm going to pop over to mum and dad's in about an hour or so, see if they need any shopping doing. Uh, I've also got to do a few errands for us as well. So hopefully I shall be back before lunch uh, and hopefully the sky will stay fairly bluish. Um, but we have had showers and sunshine and then showers and sunshine. So proper April showers already.
right well, on cue. Well, I was just about to tell you about the birdhouse, but the dogs are obviously always having their lunch. <laughs> okay, hello, baby. So, I've just filmed the video for Tuesday, so happy Tuesday, everyone. This is the project I've just done. It's a, a really, really cute birdhouse. I've done mine in lovely pastel colours, but you could cover it in papers, you could cover it in old music, anything you could cover it in that's paper-based. And also, if you leave the roof off, I've stuck my roof on, but if you take the, don't stick the roof on, you can put a tea light in it. A battery one, though. Yes. Not a, not a flamey Obviously, one. Obviously, yes. And that's what the kit looks like when it's packed. Try not to get too much of a glare on it. Are you okay there, Mike? Da, da, da. Decorative birdhouse. Yeah, so just done the filming for the channel, so... I've just had a break for lunch. Just a break for lunch, so... Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Biscuits. So pop over to the web, my website and have a look. It's in the section for the home. Um, every home needs one. Well, at least one. <laughs> at least one little birdhouse, at least. They are limited edition, so there are only 12 of them. So first come, first served. See you soon. So we're well into April now. It's the 12th today, so nearly two weeks in already. Um, so April marks the start of a new financial year, which means March is the end of the last financial year, which means year end accounts. I know it's absolutely awful. So January was when we paid our tax uh, and our national insurance contributions, which is goes towards our final pension, that kind of thing. Um, but actually, the financial year actually ends in March. So we've actually got from April, the beginning of April, to finish your kind of year-end accounts for the previous year. Um, and then submit them by January the following year, if you like, and pay whatever taxes and national insurance contributions, that kind of stuff that are due. Um, so actually we don't have to leave it till the end of January. It's just us being lazy <laughs> and just not pulling our finger out to do our accounts, to get them submitted and get everything paid. Um, Cause we can do it well before January if we want to, but like most people, we tend to put it off and put it off and put it off, um, paying tax until the very last minute. <laughs> um, which, you know, which is a pattern <laughs> that we've done for the last few years. Um, so, yeah, maybe this year, maybe this year, I may submit mine early so I don't have to do it in January in a mad panic rush. <laughs> because all my accounts are up to date, um, because we actually got them all up to date after January. Um, we kind of sat and did, spent a couple of days going right the way through um, the previous year and um, catching up so that we, you know, we're in in a front position, if you like. Um, but unless we actually keep up to it, we'll fall behind again. And that's not good. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.